About 7% of the country's energy is produced by hydroelectric power, according to the U.S. Energy Information Administration. Electrical power can be produced by harnessing the motion-generated energy of flowing water. We refer to this as hydroelectricity or hydropower. In the most prevalent kind of hydroelectric power plant, a riverside dam is utilized to create a reservoir that holds water. Energy is produced when a generator is turned on by water that has been discharged from the reservoir and flows through a turbine. But it is possible to generate hydroelectric electricity without a sizable dam. Some hydroelectric power stations merely use a short canal to direct river water into a turbine. Here are some of the incredible hydroelectric technologies that will transform our world. Please like this video and make sure to stick around till the end. Let's talk about Colburn SA. Located in the Mall region of Chile, the Colburn SA Dam is a remarkable feat of engineering. Rising to a height of 518 feet, it was first opened in 1989 and crosses the Itata River 1,699 feet to create the vast Lago Colburn. With eight 175 megawatt Francis turbines, the Colburn turbine is incredibly efficient, producing 1 400 megawatts of electricity from over 90% of the water's energy. In addition to producing electricity, the dam serves as an Itata River flood shield and helps with irrigation in the Mall Valley. Colburn SA is a fascinating story of responsibility and accomplishment in Chile's pursuit of renewable energy, prioritizing sustainability through habitat, restoration, and community engagement. Next, we have Luna Seaverk 2. Allow me to present to you Luna Seaverk 2, which is presently on construction and will be Austria's largest pumped storage hydroelectric power plant. Imagine that there are two reservoirs, one at an incredible 5,106 feet and the other at 2,625 feet. Four turbines with a combined capacity of 1,000 megawatts, all neatly nestled into a mountain. This 2.2 billion euro project is expected to power a million households, create jobs and advance sustainability. Luena Seewerk 2, which is expected to be finished in 2037, is evidence of Austria's dedication to a sustainable future. Core Power C4. With its unique wave energy converter, the Core Power C4 embraces the ocean's depths. Its buoyant design, which makes it resemble a gigantic buoy and is anchored to the seabed, effectively uses internal pistons and a hydraulic system to convert the kinetic energy of waves into electricity. Its ability to withstand strong waves during a storm is noteworthy. A major turning point will be reached in 2024 when the C4 is deployed commercially off the coast of Portugal. This indicates that these units will eventually provide clean, dependable power to the entire world. The Core Power C4 is a ray of hope for sustainable energy production and coastal economies around the world, as it can produce five times more electricity per tonne than current technology. Now let's turn our attention to the enormous Pacific Ocean off the coast of California, PB3 Powerboy. There, the US startup Ocean Power Technologies is testing the PB3 Powerboy, its most recent invention. The PB3 Powerboy is an example of a gadget that harnesses the kinetic energy of waves to produce power. It can store excess power and can operate at depths ranging from a shallow 65.6 feet to 9,842.5 feet. It also offers continuous energy service. However, this power buoy does more than just carry energy, it also relays data in real time, keeping the lines of communication open between distant maritime apparatus and the coast. Because of its modular architecture, this third generation wave energy converter may be customized to meet the demands of different projects. Orbital O2. There is the Orbital O2, the most powerful tidal turbine in the world, constructed by Orbital Marine Power, a Scottish firm. 
This enormous construction is as tall as a 24-story skyscraper and weighs an incredible 680 tons. However, in spite of its vastness, it leaves very little environmental trace. It represents a noticeable move away from fossil fuels because it emits zero emissions. The secret to the Orbital O2's magic is its bidirectional operation, which boosts its efficiency considerably by producing power at both high and low tides. Launched in July 2021, this powerhouse harnesses the power of the water to light up our houses, promising enough electricity annually for 2,000 households. Wave Piston. Utilizing wave energy, Wave Piston has created a groundbreaking technology that generates clean power and clean water. With its enormous potential, Wave Energy can replace fossil fuels and guarantee safe drinking water for all. In addition to replacement parts for O&M during the system's lifespan, Wave Piston will provide turnkey systems paid for by the installed capacity. The first area of emphasis is on isolated coastal towns and islands that frequently lack fresh water and rely solely on diesel generators for electricity. The utility-scale market, which offshore wind complements and ensures higher grid value because of wave energy's benefits, will be the second area of attention. Water Otor. Since its creation in 2011, the Water Otor has shown to be the most effective renewable energy solution for resolving global energy shortages. The company is now ready to expand into other markets after serving underdeveloped areas to meet demand. From the global market, Water Otor Energy Technologies Inc. will provide affordable electricity to the 1.2 billion people without access to the grid and the 800 million people who rely on pricey fossil fuel generators for their electricity. The first device that can produce power from the 71% of still water on Earth that is commercially and reasonably priced is the water odor. Nothing else has been able to match the high energy output even when operating at very low water flow speeds, as slow as two to six minutes per hour. This translates into an untapped market worth 100 billion. Now we head to Landestry, Netherlands, to meet the next game-changing invention, the Landustric screw turbine, which generates power from canal height differences in keeping with the Dutch expertise in water management. It's incredible how much power it can generate with just a 500 liter per second water flow and a one-meter height disparity. Similar to its predecessors, the Landrustrick screw turbine is compact, easy to install, and low maintenance. It is resilient and strong enough to withstand ice and severe canal conditions while safeguarding our aquatic life. The fact that it can continuously generate up to 100 kilodollars of electricity and that it does so even in the absence of much water flow is astounding. The nicest thing about it is that it produces no emissions. Open Hydro. The Open Hydro gadget generates power by using the inflow and outflow of water at low and high tides. The diameter of the turbine is 16 meters. The Aegis E-Chain 4040 protects the deployed chain flex motor and signal wires from the series during the turbine's rising and lowering motions and against adverse environmental conditions. The travel distance, both vertically above and underwater, is about 20 meters with the robust E-chain lead in a steel trough. Thus, the robust E-chain is guided by a stainless steel trough. The vertical travel becomes a horizontal stroke by making a 90-degree turn. A normal metal chain would not have been able to withstand the mix of mechanical demands and the technological environment, making a plastic chain the only viable choice. This makes any form of maintenance on the open sea unnecessary. Tom Sork, Show Me State, Missouri, is home to Tom Sork, the world's largest pumped storage hydroelectric power facility. Imagine that there are two reservoirs 
the highest of which is 720 meters tall and the other 450 meters. When there is an increase in demand for power, they release water down to turn turbines and generate electricity. During the night, the water is pushed back up, utilizing additional energy from other sources. Easy, yet quite clever. Named for a neighboring mountain, Taum Sauk was constructed in the 1960s and initially had an 800 megawatt capacity. It has been overhauled and currently has a potent 1,020 megawatts. Taum Sauk, like all of our stations, can generate up to 85% of the energy required to pump water back up. This is an example of efficient and sustainable power generation. Today, we have experienced awe-inspiring advancements in renewable energy, each more promising than the previous. Keep in mind that every watt we produce cleanly is a win for the environment. Our future is renewable as we continue to discover the power of the tides, waves, and tinier streams. Don't keep your excitement about these developments to yourself if you share my enthusiasm. As always, thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thank you.